the deck building will be really fast. I have it at like 20 times speed. <laughs> One of the things I really liked was how uh, Widow used Vivacity in this game. Every time you played it, I expected, like, okay, here comes Destructive Spirit, right? But it was always a uh, Petal Storm afterwards, and he basically was using it to conserve two action points. And it kind of gives him a flare advantage throughout. That's that. And as you can see, there's not, uh, well, they didn't have black when they were recording it. I don't know if this was bone white or if it was areas, but... So it's a lot, of, a lot of guesswork as to what cards are actually in their hand. Okay, this must be Bone White. Oh, of course, you can tell from the pings. All right, yeah. Yeah, you know, so basic stuff here. It kind of makes sense for uh, M4 to focus and Wudo to advance because M4 has got the slight range advantage. Then again, he just took a nine range attack. I guess it makes sense that this is uh, that Wudo would mull zero with that too because he can still stack his deck. some indecisiveness from M4. Um, I don't know why he would move forward as opposed to taking the recover, but... Oh, okay, you're muted, deafened. Oh, that was weird. My mic stopped working. I was gonna ask, do you know if either of them brought Sakura wings? Um, if they did, neither of them play it. Okay. I see that it's brought a lot sometimes. Uh, assigning has a lot of tools to back up, and Urena's vivacity kind of makes it less necessary. So I, I could see. Neither of them bringing it, but it's definitely an important tool for Hanukkah to be able to play that range 5 attack. Well, sure, but usually the hardest one to play is a 2-3, but in this matchup, I don't think it should be that difficult. That's true. The 2-3 yeah, is uh, the only one you can react to anymore, so... Yeah, but in this matchup, I don't think there's a whole lot of reactions that make it really hard to use. Um, so. Either of them could have been cheeky and brought the Hanukkah special, or the Hanukkah reaction, the charm, to try and cancel that, but... Yeah, charm of blossoms, I guess. Yeah, I don't know about that. I feel like that's really expensive. It, it is really expensive, but yeah. you only have to break the chain once for every reshuffle. Hmm. I'm surprised. Well, I don't know. I wonder. Wait, was that in the middle of his deck? The one one. Yeah. Um, it was either in the middle or he was holding it the whole time. This is interesting. Wudo takes his three one to Aura. Um, kind of, kind of an acknowledgement that that Hanukkah and Sinai both can't really do anything to punish this. Well, uh, yeah, that's true. Let me see if I can. 
understand. Uh, yeah, I think there is nothing here. Well, that's not really true. The humanoids are at range six. Yeah, he can move up in pedal, st pedal storm, which is why I think he took it to Aura. <laughs> because if he pedal storms, he's. Um, he gets to do the background yeah. movement for free. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's why he did that. I don't really think there's a major punish. I think that's pretty clever. Although Wuda seems to be playing a little bit more of a defensive Yurina. <sighs> One of the strategies with Yurina is you just take everything to life and try to brute force your way to a win, which he could have done, but it looks like he ended up wanting to play a bit more conservative. But he does have Pedal Storm here. So, yeah. Yep, so either cut down goes to life or pedal storm goes to life. And it's actually about the same situation, except in one case, M4 gets an aura or you use an aura on top of it. So. Nah, I like it from Ludo. I don't know how good it is, but it's probably fine. Maybe the early game versus... Uh... <sighs> yeah, I mean, also, it's uh, M4 didn't really have... Um... Ideas. I don't think the punish was super hard. Like, yeah, that didn't have, it was like an unpowered swing rush. Didn't have enough resources to go for an empowered swing rush. Mm -hmm. yeah. this is I, what I, I imagine did. if that was on the table, then Udo would not take that 3 1 to Aura. But... Okay, now we're blooming into destructive. Mm -hmm. This goes to life, it has to. Or, no, not at this point, never mind. It's just, well. Does it matter? I don't think it matters. Well, I guess this is fine, though, because he gets two cards. I mean, I don't think reacting to this versus Brandish matters. So, either one, I guess. Yeah, I guess the only question is whether you're planning on blooming soon after you do it anyway. So if he's planning on playing his bloom card next turn, then... That'd be fine. Yep, he takes that to Aura afterward. Wait, uh, it's what's in four and just the worst bloom chain, right? Didn't he mess this up? Or are you supposed to do it to where you draw? Well, normally, when I played out Hanoka, I had it to where you had Shadow Wings and the two, three of the same grouping of hands. <sighs> but I don't know if they're even running Sacro Wings either. I could double check that, but. But this is just like. This is just game losing there from four, right? He's just behind. In the yeah, no, he had to reshuffle, yeah, and he's already way behind on the on the blue chain. Uh, there's no. I think Ludo can't play anything, right? And he still is not playing. It's just going to still work. And then he forces it. I don't know. I think it's, well, I don't know. Actually, Wudo might be allowed to take this to life. But as I said, Wudo's playing a lot more of a weirdly enough like defensive here, you know, where you kind of just let the life come like at a more natural pacing, not putting a whole lot of pressure on your opponent through flare, which is probably fine. Though. Yeah, what he's been doing, or what he does in this game, as far as I can tell, is he plays a really tight economy arena, and he just kind of gradually gets a flare advantage through uh, playing more efficiently than his opponent. Yeah. I'm not sure why M4 is bloom chained is all messed up. I'm trying to think about it, because normally you want to bloom twice. So no, you want to play the season's turn again twice normally in a cycle. At least that's what uh, my impression with Hanoka was. And typically, you make it to where... Um, Both. Well, let me think. You do the. Um, I think he might just be holding Guardian Spirit in his hand from doing the season's turn again. But I'm just trying to really think why he doesn't play it out this turn. I'm trying to think. Is there a punish? There's no punish for Yurina and Hanoka. I guess Charm of Blossoms. Yeah, is he might be in his own head about Charm of Blossoms. I don't know about that. Even if he plays, then your opponent discards. I think it's better than holding it. Yeah, my master. Oh. 
Pedal storm, right? Yep, with a pedal storm, get two two action points effectively. You're saving yourself from having to back up. You're giving pedal storm no reactions, and you're getting a vigor. I think it before should have just played into this. Even if he has charm of blossoms, it sucks, but it's definitely not the end of the world. Especially if you had it last cycle before you reshuffled. I think the cost of two cards is really expensive for charm of blossoms. Interesting. Making him advance, I guess. Sure. Um, this makes it a bit awkward to play any more attacks this turn. It's possible. Would it make? Yeah. So he just oh, decides wow. to focus, recover. I like it. He's this like, yeah, so very slow. I'll just camp here and collect all this shadow. Well, now we now we're guaranteed a second bloom chain. So actually, I think M4 gets to catch up a little bit because Destructive Spirit right wasn't played this cycle, which I think is really good for I mean, for M4. So that puts him a little bit back in the game because he didn't get the life back in the 3 2 this particular cycle. So I think M4 should be pretty happy with that. Also, M4 still has a chance at a destructive spirit right this cycle, which is really nice for him. With the cards out the way, the cards are lining up. Yeah, but being at range one makes that awkward for him too. Yeah, he's just going to handshake it. Uh, this is just, I don't know about this. This is just awkward. I don't know why he refuses to bloom. That was, if you wanted to bloom, there's your chance. It's guaranteed in his hand at this point, right? It was the last card in his deck, and he drew it. He still has it. I'm not sure why he's so reluctant to play it. Guido couldn't have even played Charm of Blossoms there. I just don't know about it. It's elusive range one hilt strike, just playing it to take resources and passing. Sure. Again, more efficient to play it as a 2 1 than focus recover with it. <laughs> All right, so we still have. It finally comes down. I don't know why. I mean, let me think about it. That's just now. I reversed it. Oh, I see. Hey, can he do it? Range three. Oh, no, he can't do it. He still can't do the destructive. I mean, honestly, holding it this cycle. I guess it's fine, because he just held it to a point where it's like on the bottom of the deck. But, I don't know. I guess. Uh, I don't know. Very weird. I just... <laughs> no, I can't be talking. But I think <laughs> good here. He definitely had a chance to... Oh, wait, no, he didn't have a chance to play it as a reaction because of Vivacity. And then Wudo attacked at range one with health strike. I see. He was probably trying to play it as a reaction then. I mean, I don't know. Like that's one of the things I'm not great about Hanoka. It's probably the worst part for me is managing the seasons turn again. But honestly, like maybe if he didn't want to play it as a reaction, maybe there's just like more benefit and more value that way. But I don't know. Typically playing your cards in secure arms is better than not playing them, but as I said, I don't think the gap is massive right now, especially because Wudo hasn't gotten a chance to play a Destructive, so I think Destructive is truly the card that if you kind of get it off for, it really puts you ahead of the curve, and neither player have played it, so at this point, I think the game's relatively even, I guess if you're I'm sure you were watching the chat earlier, um, I think that um, Urina has a better late game, particularly with Flare. Um, Sine has Rhythmic Arc, but it's just burning all of Wait, what? He's resolving his season's turn. Yeah, but why did he uh, Flare goes yeah. to Shadow, and then you recover. Yeah. I think he, I think he accidentally ticked twice, though. Yeah, yeah he, he thought he, he forgot to pay for it. And would have correct there are five. Yeah, I don't know. It's, I feel like M4 should really just be rushing the Bloom Chain. And now he's undoing it. So this is uh, mm -hmm. him going through the motions of undoing his, uh, his season's <sighs> turn again, playing the shell game. Sure, whatever. I think we don't care. Yeah, it's... I don't know. I, I don't know. This is some rough. I think, in my opinion, I think this is just some rough sign A play. Of course, supposed to be good with the Hanoka sign A. I think he played this one too conservatively. 
Honestly, though, you can even just go balls to the wall and play out class to really get your destructive spirit, right? At that point, you're just trading. But I don't know. This is just like some pretty wacky, exciting play. I think he's just playing way too conservative. But yeah, as I said, I'm trying to think about, it's hard for me to think about the season's turn again now. This early in the morning. Because there's, there's some shenanigans there with efficiency. It's just not occurring to me what, what it is. Like, I know there's Psycho with no destructive sphere, right? But M4 is, like, not super miserable about it, as I said, because Rudo has it. He's behind an aura at this point. Petal Storm. Yeah, Petal Storm. It's actually really range. bad. Also, just a brief note, M4 has not once capitalized on idea. And this knocks him out of it. I'm sure, I'm sure he's going to make him advance. To get the and make them, yeah, of course, because it breaks ID and it fucks up the ranges, yeah, whatever. Now, what you have no other cards to play, she's gonna recover. This is just a weird line. Now, we have some shenanigans with Destructive Spirit, right? Knocking him to one aura, which is nice, but at what cost? Are they ah, we're really just gonna kind of think about this, mm. yeah. Yeah, just discard down to one for the reshuffle. Honestly, this is just kind of stupid because M4, not M4, Rudo's just going to wait because there's no reason for him to actually play the game at this point. Yeah, he doesn't need to back up to playing attacks. You can just sit here and build up his flare and hit your aura so you're not building flare as fast. Yeah, this is just whatever. This is pretty fine for Rudo, I guess. But that's, that's the thing, is it's just going to be a slow burn to where he just outvalues him, probably just because of, like, an action or two earlier that was a bit more efficient. I don't know about it, though. Like, I, I'm part of one of the parts of, I believe, the safer arms that it's very hard to evaluate, like, certain actions. And I do think that he probably could have played it more aggressively and got, like, more advantages, in my opinion. I don't really think that... Conservative play is always like the best. I definitely there is good times to play conservatively, but I don't know if this is one of those times. It might yeah, have been. it's weird because you can get you can get these big gains, but then they get turned around on you when your opponent counterattacks with all the flurry of them. Yeah, this is such a disaster for M4. This is just horrible though for M4. If he's gonna handshake this, this is just an L. Oh, what the hell? Hello. I guess we have President Slager Bridge. Yeah, and off the top. Uh, Sure. I mean, I actually kind of like this. Um, yeah, he's already at full bit. aura, so he can just kind of take it slow, stack his deck a little bit. But yeah, this is just honestly like, uh, this was kind of like a minor thing, but last turn was probably just lights out for M4. If he's really going to play like that versus this, he's just going to lose. There's no way anymore. Once he hits seven flare, the game's just over because he's going to hit you with everything and you're going to have to take everything to life and you're going to die. And Rhythmic Arc isn't as broken as. Um, Suki Kage. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, sure. Dude, he's just going to handshake you again. He's just going to build more flair. This is so dumb. There's no reason for Wudo to play the game right now. That's two flair, essentially. I'm guessing he's just going to get two flair. Nothing else makes sense. Unless he has lethal, which... No, that's not lethal. So, yeah, this is just two flair. I'm guessing. Doing anything else is just pointless. He might, he might throw out a hilt strike or something, but... Why? I don't think there's a point to. I guess he. Well, I don't think he wants to end his turn with one or two cards. So, so there, there isn't good. a whole lot of point with Silent Wall up because that's just gonna eat the attack. But at the same time, I think a consideration here is in the name of this flag. Again, who cares? He's just gonna build a flare. He's gonna keep just putting up a giant wall, figuratively and literally. He's just well, right, but he's this makes it so the enhancement isn't around as long. That limits M4's opportunity to actually be able to play in the name of this flag to deny flare. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I, I really just think the key point here, if anybody's watching here at home, to take away is that if you try to rush or try to handshake against uh, slow play against Urena, Urena will just win. Sine has Rhythmic Arc, but it's not nearly as good as uh, Tsukikage, in my opinion. Rhythmic Arc has far more counterplay, just by the way it's designed. 
And this is just. Don't think M4 brought Rhythmic Arc either. He just has. uh, He has in the name of this flag and he has Resonant Beat, which Resonant Beat is actually pretty busted good, but. Yeah, but Rhythmic Arc in the name of this flag. I mean, yeah, Rhythmic Name of this flag is a little sign on the wall, I guess, but. Okay, we have another Vivacity, Petal Storm. Isn't it? That's just a little hopeful that your opponent. Um, doesn't kill you, around it, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, no, with Resonant Beat because you don't have a really great finisher. I mean, name one time the M4 is. I mean, this is like M4. You do, you do Resonant Beat in the name of this flag and Destructive Spirit, right? Destructive Spirit. Oh yeah, I guess with Destructive Spirit, right? Oh, that would be. What's that? Two life damage. Uh, altogether, all that would be four life damage. You just have to get some way to. You just have to hit him when he's at four aura or something like that. Pay, pay an extra <laughs> player. Aura. Not, I think they're 10 or 4 or there's no reason to. Yeah, <laughs> and, and Uranami Storm will always hit the name of this flag if it comes out, right? Yeah, this is just this is just such a game over. Holy moly. Be, yeah, this is just doomed. I think he played too slow against Uranami. Now, honestly, I wonder if Udo actually picked this very cal- like better. Because um, is it, okay, I remember at the beginning when we were talking about, okay, finally he's actually going to play the game. Holy shit. Um, we were talking about... Um, Yurina O, and I was like, hey, why Yurina O over Yurina A2? And I was thinking about the differences. And I think one of the key points is that honestly, Yurina O is better at playing this sort of more like slow game. Yurina A2 is very deadly when you're able to hold yourself better at resolve. And Yurina O is not as good at resolve, but is better at the trading and the more of the slow beat down game. Yeah. So true. I really like how Yurina O was ended up was brought here to actually facilitate slower games. Do you mean you mean A1, right? Not A2? Yeah, A1, yeah. Oh, God, I hate you. I mean, anyone <laughs> plays in A2, it sucks. But I think you're going to have facilitating the slower game plan versus uh, Sign A Hanoka is actually pretty clever. I actually like it a lot better than A1 in this particular matchup. I do feel like Yurina does counter Hanoka to a good, did, uh, good degree. I agree. But there's also not a whole lot of times when um, I really will say that you're... Because I was always a bit of an advocate, though I don't really play it as much. I was always a bit of an advocate that Urina A had was better than Urina O in a lot of situations. But I really do think this is one of those edge cases where actually I think Urina O is just better. I think... But yeah, Urina A is just better at resolve. But with the slower gameplay, I really like Urina O better. Um, Pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, if, uh, while I was talking, yeah, Yim4 did his like, first string of attacks, but it's just too little too late at this point. He's just found too much life. He's hoping to play, and also he's passing his next turn, too, and Wudo knows it. If Wudo has Brandish here, this is devastating for Yim4 as well. Wait, let me think about it. Eh, it's also the final stage gambit. I wonder if Udo's going to play around it. <laughs> oh, God. Nah, I wonder. I see. Is Udo play into that? I have no idea. The final stage gambit. I hadn't really thought of that when I was editing it, but yeah, I wonder. He does definitely make some reads. Would I bring final state? Depends on the power. I don't know. I would never. I don't think. Uh, Nobody uh, brings final stage. I would definitely bring final stage. I don't know if I would bring it here. I'd have to think about it. I'll tell you what. I wouldn't bring Resident Beat, so I probably would have brought I probably would have brought Well, would I bring Resident Beat? I definitely would bring... Uh, probably should have talked about a little bit of deck building in the beginning. That's when my mic wasn't functional. I also probably should have paused and done a quick talk about the deck. I kind of missed that part where I was fixing my audio settings. But, or really just turning on and off my mic. I don't really think I fixed my audio settings. But, yeah, I don't know. Resident B and... I think... And what's the other one you said? In the name. In the name. Mm-hmm. In the name probably standard. I think Resident B, in my opinion, is a bit of a trick. Why do you take a life out? Oh, slash... Yeah, 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 he finally took the life of the slash. He did uh, season's turn to recover swap cards around for that, but did Brandish? Brandish is still really good here. 
Does he bring Brandish? He did, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he only plays Brandish once this entire game. Yeah, dude, it should be now. I don't even know. Is he calculating? What did he? Yeah, okay. Interesting. Wait, why is that? Why end at range three versus two? Hmm. Not sure. Why is that? Oh. Okay. Maybe he was trying to invite him for his attack. I guess. Also, no destructive spirit rights played yet. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Again, seven flare. Uh, you're in O online. This is just getting really nasty now. For M4, and that season's turn again flipped up. Although, the one thing I will say about m particular comp is it does threaten a lot of cancels, or not necessarily cancels, but delays to Sugakage Crush. Yeah, uh, reactions. Hit an, icebreaker. hit an icebreaker in final stage is probably always on Wooder's mind, so it does make things a bit more precarious, but not by that much. I still think Wooder's heavily favored at this point, but Wooder does have to play with an air of caution. Also, I would like to talk about um, some shadow sucking incorporating here. Um, this, I think this is simply Wudo trying to deny enhancement from the Silent Wall. It doesn't seem super significant, but this is one of the things that Yurina is actually really good at, is a slower game. And part of the reason that the slower game works, and alongside a lot of flare generation enabling her specials, is that particularly against Sinai, denying enhancements is very strong, because putting up a wall for a turn, really eliminates the threats from Yarina's Sugikage crush. True. So I think that's also pretty key here that I think I didn't really talk about that Wudo's doing. So now, I mean, honestly, I think we're at a point where Wudo can just take this to life. Uh, do you really want to take it to Shadow? Do you have to take it to Shadow? I'm trying to think. Mm, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I guess. This is just a suicide. I don't know. I, I watch this a lot from him. For like, one deny he's a decent player, but I think he's also a player that he just will play slow. And I wish I was just saying him just take some risks. But he never wins just by doing the slower gameplay. Building up because what's a flare for? The flare doesn't mean anything. I mean, sure you could be bluffing something, but what's there to even bluff? You have one, two, three. You have seven flare with um. With your pairing, and it's just doesn't like, yeah, you have rhythmic arc. And I guess, I guess maybe he's trying to threaten resident beat rhythmic arc. But at one point, Wudu has to choose to believe something and just play your cards. Yeah, this, this is just lethal, right? I don't know what Wudu's hand is, but it probably says lethal. If you brought Sukikage, I, I think so. The only thing there is if he's playing around things. Yeah, I mean, backup one, discard two, brandish, and. Right? Because assuming it's not lethal, right? Because you can still, because you can do, you can back up one, driver two, play brandish, your opponent has to take it to, no, they don't. <laughs> okay, got slash. Which, which just has to go to life at this point. Unless there's a, what you call it, silent icebreaker. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't hit him with Icebreaker there anyway. There's no way. If he was going to do it, he would take the Brandish door and Icebreaker the Crush. There's no way he'd Icebreaker the Slash. Yeah, that's the only way you would take Slash to life, though. Mm. There's the Brandish. There's no way he takes this to life. No. Or concede. Oh, there we go. And makes a read. You have to. Yeah. <laughs> Yolo. The the Yolo Sukikage. Uh, oh my God! Silent wall. Oh my God.